Hey guys, Redactions here and welcome to this week's challenge video. This week you guys voted for the challenge and you decided that I should try to beat Kimi Raikkonen's 2005 pole lap. Now if you have not seen this lap in real life, it's quite amazing and it's going to be tough to beat. I'll leave the real life pole lap in the description down below for you guys. Now, the car you see on your screen is the McLaren MP420, which is the 2005 McLaren Formula 1 car as driven by Juan Pablo Montoya and of course Kimi Raikkonen. It is powered by a Mercedes-Benz 3 V10, which creates one of the most awesome noises ever to grace this earth. Even though in terms of raw pace, this car was quite unstoppable that season, it was unfortunately plagued by horrible, horrible reliability. So the time I'm going to have to try to beat is a 1 minute 13.644, which is pretty quick considering the fact that this version of Monaco still has the old slow chicane. And oh yeah guys, before we start, I just wanted to go back to this image. Now, the car we are driving is the McLaren MP420, and this challenge won by 69% of the votes. Nice. <laughs> you know what else would be nice, guys? A sub to the channel if you end up enjoying this video. So without further ado, let's get into this video, guys. Okay, guys, welcome to Monaco. We're in the pit lane right now. So the way I'm going to do this is that I'll just first do a lap with the stock setup, stock tires, just stock everything. Just I just loaded up the game and just, well, I'm driving out of the piss right now, it didn't change anything. So we'll first do an exploration lap, see what this car feels like. Uh, well, I know what it feels like because I've done quite a lot of laps in this thing on uh, different tracks. Uh, well, yeah, it pretty much feels like it's on rails, which is nice. Um, yeah, this thing really suits my driving style. I really like a car that's like very stuck to the track. No understeer, no oversteer, just it just does what you want to do. Well, I tend to like oversteer a bit more than I like understeer. That, that's why I prefer this car over the Renault R25, in terms of driving at least. Uh, I do prefer the sound of the Renault R25 to this thing. I'm sorry in advance if I'm going to be a bit quiet during the hot laps, guys. Um, you can imagine that this is quite intense and I need my yeah full concentration to do these laps, so there's really not a lot of brain power left to talk as well. Ooh, we we run wide. Okay, so our banker is a 116.5, which means we have to find around 2.9 more seconds until we beat the challenge. Let's go back into the pits and do some setup work. Okay, guys, so we're back in the pits. Uh, I'll just take you through what I'm doing, so you can also just copy my setup. Uh, well, first of all, the gear ratio, it's way too long. I think we'll have to dial it back to around about a top speed of 300. No, that's too much. Oh, well, this is perfect. Uh, tires, of course, we'll just take the softest one because it's trying to be the quality lap. Fuel, I think they ran with race fuel in qualifying back then, didn't they? Uh, let's just put it on 25 for now. Uh, traction control, I have the feeling that it was a bit too strict, so let's turn it back one point. Uh, arrow, well, just let's just put on everything because we're at Monaco. So 20 and 10, come on, 10. Yeah, there we go. Uh, well, suspension and all that stuff, I'll just leave that as it is for now. Um, let's see what we can do with this setup. If I do end up beating the pole lap, I'll put a replay of the full lap. At the end of this video, just an off-board, so you can enjoy the sounds of this thing. Ooh, already feels much quicker <laughs> coming out of there because we're so much lighter. And, well, we have shorter gears, of course. Okay, let's start this lap. Heavy concentration mode, engaged. Brake. Hit the apex. Full throttle. Into Mirabeau. Oh, we tapped the wall there slightly. A bit of a lockup. Tap the wall again. I think in real life we would be still okay though. Probably have a. Oh, we tapped. Oh no, we definitely wouldn't be okay now. Let's abort this lap. Okay. Take two. Let's go. Horrible screen freeze there. That's okay though. We survived. Break. No DRS, of course, because that has not been invented yet in 2005. Third gear. So bouncy through there. I think I need to soften up the suspension a little bit. Ooh, that was a good run through there. 
Haven't hit the wall yet. Hope I don't jinx it now. Break just after the 100 meter board. Hit this apex. Hit that apex. Beautiful. So agile this car. Unbelievable. Turn in. Oh no, we hit the wall. Still reach 7th gear at the end of the straight though, so it's okay. Oh, we hit the wall again. Wow. Good. Okay. Let's try again. That's an okay run. Better than last time anyway. Let's not hit the wall at Sandoval this time. Back to third gear here already. Don't hit the wall. Ooh, beautiful. That was a good run. Just feels so steady through that through Mirabeau, I think it's called the right hander after the bump. Second gear. Hit that apex. Slow it right on down. Run a little bit wide, but it's okay. Might help us with the top speed at the end of this straight. Seven gear. And break. Hit this apex, hit this apex, full throttle again. Force through the back, flat through this chicane, brake. We take it nice and easy through here now. Don't hit the wall, good. Short shift. Back down to first gear for Rascas. Hit the apex of the final corner and full throttle. That was a good lap, man. I think it's a 14 something. 13-4! There you go guys, I'm a better driver than Kimi Raikkonen. Sign me up for Alfa Romeo. Okay, that was a joke. But... Wow. Yeah, I did not expect that. Yeah, how could that be? Maybe I'm running too little fuel? Maybe? Not sure. Well, still, I don't think that would make that much of a difference, would it? Or ma maybe it would. Let's try again with full fuel, shall we? Okay guys, so I looked it up. They actually did two runs back in 2005, uh, one with race fuel and one with low fuel. Uh, I managed to beat the low fuel run as well, so that's awkward. It wasn't even completely low fuel either, it's 25 liters, which I think is like six laps. Let's, let's, take, out, let's take out all the fuel and let's see what kind of lap I can do. Okay guys, so let's put in five liters of fuel. And let's soften the suspension a little bit because it was quite bumpy. Okay, let's lower this a little bit. Let's give it a little bit more turn in as well. Let's okay then, let's see what we can do now. Okay guys, so here we are, almost ready to start a new lap. Uh, I'm going to go all out on this lap and be completely quiet. So I will get the ultimate, ultimate heavy concentration mode. Uh, I'll also turn up the engine sound for you in editing so you can listen to this wonderful sound. So let's go. Oh my god guys, it's a 1.13.2, I think if I am going to no life this and just do lap after lap after lap, I think I could do a 1.12, uh, yeah, Whew. one lap around here is so intense man, it's, I really cannot imagine what it's like to do a full 78 laps around this track, well, if you want to try it out yourself, links are in the description, and I'll turn back to post-editing redactions right about now.
Okay guys, I did not expect that result at all. We managed to beat the pole time after just a few laps and when we removed the excess fuel we went even quicker. Do take these results with a grain of salt guys, because as a sim racer you of course don't have to worry about absolutely exploding yourself into the harbour or one of the many Gucci stores. Plus, I think the mod by VRC might be just a little bit too quick compared to real life. If you want to try it out yourself guys, everything will be in the description below. Anyway, thank you guys for 4000 subs, it really means a lot to me. Please subscribe if you still haven't and become part of the big gang now. I'm going to shut up now so you can enjoy this lap once again. So I'll see you guys next week. Peace!